This is a video I was hoping I would never have to make. It's a sad day for cameras to even have to record me in this shame. I know when a lot of you look at me, when a lot of you think of me, the first thing you think of is basketball superstar. I know it gets confusing not knowing whether or not you're watching Charles White or Allen Iverson, but it's Charles, and like all of you, I'm human. I'm not perfect, especially not when it comes to basketball. I've always had a lot of pride in my game, and now, where there was once pride, there is nothing but embarrassment. Jinxie and Sketch were doing an IRL collab stream, and they wanted to play basketball on our court. I said, come on in, the door is wide open, you know, hop aboard Miss Frizzle's bus here, taking you right to fucking Flavortown on the, the gridiron, so... Uh, I told them, you're absolutely more than welcome to play some basketball here, and they invited me to play as well, in a 1v1 against Jinxie. Jinxie is the biggest streamer on Twitch, he averages like 92,000 viewers. So, I thought this would be a great opportunity to show decades worth of, of work, and a lifetime dedicated to this beautiful, beautiful sport. And I thought it'd be pretty easy, because Jinxie's not exactly the most active hooper in the world, but he, he dabbles a bit. And I lost. A tragedy more traumatizing than the closure of Blockbuster, I fucking lost the 1v1 against Jinxie. Nice shot! Thank you, Sketch. 1-0. Three zero. Fuck. Yep, I knew this was Fire has been caught. Okay. Oh. Okay, like, am I playing a YouTuber or Steph Curry? Like, four zero. Easy. Just shut the Easy fuck. Easy street. I got off to a fiery start, and then I decided to put on the. Breaks a little bit because it was getting out of control as I was fucking steamrolling him here six to zero and I was getting gassed. I mean, uh, I was getting winded and then I could just I couldn't find it again. I couldn't drive. I couldn't shoot. A, a curse was placed upon me from fucking witches on TikTok or something. Some kind of forbidden hex. I I don't know, but I I fucking lost. I can't bear the pain of showing you the footage of me blowing this lead, but I ended up losing to Jinxie eleven to nine. Fair and square, but the footage is haunting. It's, I can't watch it. It's like watching a hostage video if your parents got taken by the cartel or something and they're being held for ransom and they sent you the tape. It's fucking, it's, it's tough. It's fucking tough. I, and I, I went through all stages of denial, uh, trying to come to terms and cope with this, to accept it. I came up with as many excuses as I, as I could muster. I don't play basketball 1v1s. I haven't since fucking high school. It, it's, which, you know... I think that's a fair excuse, so maybe you disagree. I also came from the gym to this this uh, this event here, so I was putting a little extra mustard, a little extra elbow grease on my shots, so shit wasn't falling. Also, I was all just genuinely kind of sore from from the from the lift. Maybe you think that's an acceptable excuse, maybe not. I don't know, but it fucking sucks. I lost. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Oh, not it. okay. Oh, hey, not right. shot. Not shot. That's a great point. Down goes Boyce. I lost. <laughs> Right in the test. I, I was trying to dish it. My hand oh, is slippery. You good? Yeah, he's actually fucked. <laughs> Sorry. And then this was just the cherry on top of one of the worst nights Florida has ever seen. I don't think I've been hit that hard in the scrotum ever, actually. And watching the footage back just doesn't do the precision of the shot justice. I, I, do, I don't exactly know what kind of move Sketch was looking to do there, but he tried to hit Jinxie with like some kind of and one move where he goes out wide and then drives, and he like was building up all kinds of momentum with the ball without ever having full control, and then he like Hadoukens it right into my sack, and it hurt so bad, excruciating agony, and usually when you take a, a testicle shot, it subsides in like a minute or two, it, it, it's pretty ephemeral. This lasted until I got home and took a shower, and the hot water and, like, the steam helped release all of the, the boo-boo. Like, it, 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 couldn't, it couldn't have been a worse night on the court for me. Now, of course, I don't blame Sketch. In fact, I thank him for it, because it's what I deserve for such a pitiful performance out there. It's not... It's not me. That wasn't me. I, 
I don't. I, I'm. I'm not bad at basketball. Don't. Don't. Don't let your eyes deceive you. Don't let one bad. One bad day out there taint your image of me as the, the, the basketball super saiyan. I've played basketball for well over a decade, and it's vaporized my knees, turning the ligaments to dust. But it's so worth it because I think it's such a beautiful sport. And as I'm about to turn 30, I really feel like the Master Roshi of hooping. Just like Master Roshi taught Goku the Kamehameha, I feel as though I should teach you some of my secret, most treasured techniques, such as the Cosmic Floater, where you do a Euro step into the highest arcing floater this world has ever fucking seen, because at 5 foot 6 it basically comes from the ground, and most people can swat that away, so I had to learn to adapt. And then my other defensive technique, the Thousand Years of Staff Infection, where if any time a big man goes for a rebound and brings it down, I start scratching at him like a cat on a post and just trying to get the ball out of there. But I'm, I'm already missing the point. I have loved this game for so long, and I still actively play it. Like I've mentioned over the last few months, well, year now, We've been playing like once a week, 5v5, full court. It feels so good to be back out there, fucking going crazy. An alcoholic. <laughs> so we'll be fine. That's my Dude, teammate. You, but that's my fucking teammate. How are you cooking? I'd that's like my fucking teammate. I'd like right to there. redraft. Love this guy. That's my teammate! That's my fucking teammate! Give the camera on him. Three. He needs the NBA range. He needs oh NBA God. range. That's my fucking team. Just look at that excitement from Jinxie, that jubilation. That's what my game is all about. My shot is of grace and beauty and damn near perfection. So when I start getting a little wet there and draining, it, it it's hard not to have your soul smile at it. But I could not on this night channel that into a normal game like I usually do. This was before our 2v2 when Matt arrived. You can see Jinxie was excited, calling me his teammate. And I let him down. But not only did I let him down, I let I let all of you down. I I've never played such such poor basketball in my life. And I never will again. That is the lowest you will ever see me on the court. I will I will practice more. And I will never lose another 1v1 in basketball, or a 2v2, or a 3v3, or a 5v5 full court. I just won't lose at basketball ever again. Now that I've tasted defeat, I don't like the taste of it. So I don't want to, I don't want to have to consume that meal again. And this is just letting me come out here in front of all of you and just accept that I played like shit. And I'm sorry for it. You won't see it happen again. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be back. You might see me at the NBA Combine. You you might see me putting up big numbers soon. You know, the, like maybe the Spurs need me and I can feed Wimby. Like there's a lot. I'm gonna be I'm gonna do a lot of training. Is what I'm saying. It's really about it. So yeah.